Falcons are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackled after a decent pickup. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. we would be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Man, that's trash. That's trash. Mike's 50, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Green, no. He gets rid of this one. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike six. Mike six. It's a party now. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. So they gain a few yards, but they're nowhere near picking up the first down. Well, it was third down and long. They had a long way to go. I think that was more of a safe call. The last thing this offense wants to do is take a shot downfield and cause some kind of turnover. And this one is a beauty. He fields the punt at the 16. Tackle at the 19. Houston's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the first down catch. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they finally knock him out at the 31-yard line. Big gain there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big gain. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. From the 31-yard line, second down. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Houston could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And they hit him in the backfield. 
And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. around the 24-yard line, and he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. He's out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That's a game of two on the way. Fourth down. Booming kick. He's to the 40, and they push him out around the 42-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Houston holds a field goal lead. He's taken down at the 43. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. That makes it first and ten. Here we go. Gets it out to him again. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Knocked out of bounds around the one-yard line. That's a game of three four on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Cougars. And he adds the extra point. It was a five-play, 59-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Makes it out to about the 33. He might have a chance. Nice run there. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. Bumble! They ball him. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 33. Third two, third two. Empty backfield, w, w. quarterback in the gun. Three, nine, Five three, wide receivers. Nine, Up the middle for a nice game. He airs it out. Almost picked off. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He's hit immediately. That's a game of 16. Mike three, Mike three. First down. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Larry, Larry. He's on the run. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 41. Number six brings him down at the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Mike three. Mike three. There's a strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14. Gain of 13 on the play. First down. Mike three. Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 13. That makes it second and eight. Tackle made at the eight-yard line. First quarter is over. Watch out, folks. This one is turning into a major upset. 10-0, Cougars. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Mike three. Mike three. You don't want to go one another. Ready. Looks to the end zone. Interception. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back, maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Some open field. That's a great tackle at the 45. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. He might have a chance. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Dog! Throws this one out to the right. And it's incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Hey, check my 50. Mike is the 50. Check my 50. Dog four. Caught a big hit there to stop him. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. 
And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 10-3, Houston. Texas is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tries to get around the corner, and he's taken down at the 26. Now here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Houston is up seven. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Steps up, lets it go. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. It's second and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. And he shoved out of bounds around the 29 yard line. He makes the catch and has a first down. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Easy, easy, easy. Big down. Big down. 55. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Houston is up by a touchdown. Incomplete. This is the tenth play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Stepping up. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Houston. Gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And we've still got time left here in the second quarter, so this kid could really end up with a big game. And he tacks on the extra points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just about ready to call a first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Inside handoff. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. So the draw to the halfback picks up four from their own 29-yard line. Second down. Red two, hello, three. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Three down, three down. Mike 
Red two. Go. Red seven. Yeah. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. That just shows you what an asset he is in this offense. When he's not doing damage as a runner, he's making the defense suffer in the passing game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's at the 20, and the defense picks it up. The play isn't over until the whistle blows. It was that scrappy defense who was able to come away with the ball after the tight end lost it. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Out of bounds, right around the 20. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick pass. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. Number three with the tackle at the 32-yard line. Mike three, Mike three. Bumble, bumble, bumble. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They come out in a five-wide set. Here we go. And he's level at the 46. That's a play. That makes it first and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. You better bring it. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And a quick throw. Touchdown! Big play! He makes the PAT. A nice six play, 86 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle around the 49-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 43-yard line, first down. Out in the open. He goes out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Slings it. He's taken down right around the 22 yard line. He passes it, and he tackles him hard at the three. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Black five. Red two! Orange three! And they hit him in the backfield. Easy, easy! Flare! Flare! 
that brings up second. Hey. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Let's get the ball. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. The Longhorns using their third and last timeout. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports Halftime Show. Alongside David Pollock, I'm merely Reese Davis. David, let's take a look at some of the highlights from a very solid first half of football. Reese, solid was the word, definitely. Great first half, great intensity from both teams. Both teams came out, executed really, really well. Both are happy sitting in the locker room with a chance to come out, put a statement on the second half, and try to win this ballgame. All right, what's the most important thing when you try to make that early statement in the second half? Is you come out with energy, come out with passion, make sure that you're trying to execute, take care of the football, and make sure that you can find ways to make plays. And, and whoever usually makes the most mistakes are the team that's going to lose. Try to avoid that big mistake early as we get set to start the second half. The Longhorns punched all the right buttons, pulled all the right triggers in the first half. Three touchdowns so far, and now the second half is just around the corner. Can they keep that offensive wizardry up? Brad and Kirk have the call. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Zips it to the back. He's tackled right around the 30. Number three on the tackle at the 30-yard line. Larry, Larry. That brings him second and five. Combo, combo, combo. Let's go. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a deep nine. First down. Here they come. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Give me that ball, defense. Easy, easy, easy. Under pressure. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. Game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Check four, check four. Go, kill, kill. kill. Green, nine. Good open field tackle. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Game 
gains his way to the 16-yard line. Big play, and it's first and goal. Think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play. That you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Texas, the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The Longhorns' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Here's the halfback on the screen, and the ball bounces out of bounds. From their own 25-yard line, third down, they'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out, and he's taken down at the 37. Number three, with the tackle at the 37 yard line. First down. He wants it all. Got a man, watch out here. He scores. What a play. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Houston, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns really had a tough first half, and i got to give them credit for hanging in there and uh, turning things around here in the third quarter. You're right, Brad. They could have just shut it down as bad as they looked in the first half, but great perseverance by the entire offensive unit. It's paid off. Back-to-back -back drives now. They've got full time. Brought down around the 34-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Fires it out. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Take four, take four. That brings him second and five. Three. Dog, kill, kill. Panther two. Check, check, check. That's a great 
tackle at the 40-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Mike six. Mike six. Oh, you got deep. Hit. 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 He gets out to about the 17 yard line. He's immediately tackled. A five-yard gain. The slant is so hard to defend when the pass is right on the money. But at least the defense was there to keep it from turning into a bigger play. There he goes. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They get him in the backfield for a loss. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. And this is the 13th play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. No That makes his third and goal. Nice run there. Gaining four yards. That brings us fourth and goal. Fourth quarter is here, and it's starting to look more and more like an upset is imminent. 31-9, Houston. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They come out in a goal line set. Touchdown, Texas! Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he comes up short on a two-point conversion. A long 15-play, 77-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Combo, combo, combo. Watch one, watch one. And he hits him hard at the 44. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled at the 49 yard line. Number 17 makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go! Tackled for a loss. 
Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Snags it complete out of bounds, though, and they're going to lose yardage. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. From their own 13-yard line, second down. Watch the screen. Mike's 50. Mike's green nine. Green nine. Go. Quick pass, and they make the stop around the 17-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Third down. Tackled for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that, that the defense well. made a great play. They read it from the get-go. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The Cougars staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a the battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. He's taken down at the 48. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Texas will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Down he goes at the 23. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. Larry, Larry. Mike three, Mike Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Zero, zero, Mike Free. Here we go. Flag 98. Flag. He takes a knee.
And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Houston 31, Texas 15. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.